Hey yo, we're back. And uh, as you can see, we're in a different place than usual. Because uh, I figured I'd take this thing out to uh, kind of what it was designed to do. Even though I still have this the stock or the different rims on it, which are bald is all beyond belief. Um, like I said, I figured I'd bring it out. Just kind of to toodle around with it. But uh, yeah. So obviously, we got this one all done up now. So, got the uh, engine trans all in. Uh, still doesn't have an exhaust. And the interior, I still have like the carpeting out of it. I mean, glass is still even dirty. But got most of the junk out of the bed. Found this tub the other day. So I was like, why not? Why not take it? And um, here we have the truck. So, underneath the hood it's kind of a mess because we did the whole emissions delete. And, um, so, no offense, but I'm not going to show you guys that for now until we get it all cleaned up. But, um, otherwise, like I said, it's all functional now. There is no exhaust on this truck because it all rotted off. But, I mean, hell, the dash is even dirty. But as you can see, it lives, or it lives, one point, or sorry, 43 miles I've driven it but interior is still not put together there's still a whole lower dash here lower dash over there um this isn't screwed in yet but uh we put the other wheel on it obviously the brown wheel so it's a little different um and i still have to uh, play with this stuff i have to change this one out to the brown one and I need to raise the adjuster on this window just a hair so it goes up just a little bit more. But, yeah. Otherwise, um, like I said, we got it running now. Um, all the lights work, blinkers, flashers, um, unlike the other, the other truck, um, which sometimes they were there and sometimes they weren't. Um, it was kind of a guessing game with that one. As you can see, I have the mirror off of it now because we're still, we gotta find uh, the right size bolts for it because factory, it's just like two tapered head wood screws pretty much that actually just screw right into the smaller holes here. But it looks like somebody, somebody punched this out when they put a bigger drill bit or they put a, a different mirror on it. So we're gonna have to find bolts that have a tapered head somehow and fill that in. But, yeah, um, I know the lighting on my camera throws the color of this all sorts of fun funky ways, but, um, like that right there, it's not really, like a, like an orangey, like how it kind of looks like to me, it's like a really light peach, but, same thing with the roof, the roof actually comes out correct, more or less, but, and then, if you come around to the side over here you can see what I was talking about where we were hoping that we could scrape it off and sure enough the friggin paint we bought some plastic scrapers and it started coming off don't ask me why it came why it looks like a impact gun but that's the way it's honestly that's the shape it came off in um, I had my nephew do a little bit of body work down here which we think it got hit once because if you if you see that's like bare metal there, it's not the not the factory red. Uh, that was all pushed in like crazy. Um, but we, he went in, he straightened that all out. Um, this lens is cracked and it had a big bend right here in the original one. We took this one off the other, this housing off the other truck had a big bend in it and it wouldn't fit. And as you can see, it's still kind of not even in there correctly because this fender's kind of dicked up but and like you see the wrinkles in the paint paint there because this here was almost vertical when we started and if you look in the old videos but slowly but surely we're making the body lines line up and um yeah it's still just got the little baby bed um working on getting it registered out of California getting it registered back home in uh, good old Wisconsin 
Um, I don't think I'm going to take it back home. But now that we've done the mission shit and everything, we gotta, gotta do it. But then the most important part of all, we have the classical In N Out Burger sticker to go right along with the truck. But yeah. So here's my little update. Um, again, this is a short little video. Um, it's, it's coming along. But it's a project car, so it's not like, right now it is my only set of wheels, which is why it's driving now the way that it is. Um, I still have to go through and clean up, obviously, the interior. All this foam stuff has got to come out, and then obviously vacuum out the interior. And then clean the carpets, put the carpets back in. But tidy up the wiring, because the wiring is kind of down over here. But, I mean, other than that, it's uh, it's not bad. Steering wheel shakes a little bit going down the road. And I think that that is because there's a loose bolt on the steering shaft that I need to tighten, but I can't tighten anymore because I think it's stripped or something. But, or cross-threaded, but, yeah. So, anyways, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed this little update. I'll start it up here for you. Like I said, it kind of sounds like crap because um, the uh, exhaust right now, um, the muffler was exploded actually out the sides and it would have came out about here and we just unbolted it and took it off, which oddly enough, Cali California cars, the 40 year old exhaust actually unbolted. It didn't break off, which honestly surprised me. But, I mean, this thing always, always starts just like a dream. It's got a real interesting little grunt, grunt, grunt and rumble to it, but, yeah. That's it for now. I think that, uh, I think I might need to replace the throw bearing too, but we will see what we see. Anyways, until then, I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.